How's it going? Good. How are you doing today? All right. So what do you got here? I've got a $500 bill and a $1,000 bill. All right. This is pretty cool. So did you want to pawn these, sell these, or just spend them in the store? <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to try to sell my $500 bill and my $1,000 bill. The reason I wanted to try to sell these bills is I'm trying to get rid of some of the merchandise I have at home and turn it into some cash. I'd like to sell the bills combined for approximately $7,400. So uh, where'd you get these? I bought these from a dealer a few years back in Boston. Okay. 1934 and 1934? Yes. Okay. Uh, there was a cash shortage in the United States in 1934 because there's people who were hoarding lots of gold, and the Federal Reserve had to pay them cash for it. So they had to print a lot of money, which is why the majority of $500 bills and $1,000 bills were printed in 1934. And the reason they don't make it now is the IRS. It's too easy to transport large amounts of money if you have $1,000 bills as opposed to $100 bills. You know, a million bucks in $1,000 bills is a little stack like that. <laughs> These bills are super collectible because they weren't in circulation very long. Though I'm not sure why Presidents Cleveland and McKinley are on them, oddly enough, the U.S. Treasury never reveals its reasons, so your guess is as good as mine. They're in amazingly great shape. That's well, pretty easy to grade this one. It's a 65, which means it's gem. It's almost perfect. It can be graded higher all the way up to a 70, but the border on the bottom is smaller than the border on the top. <laughs> Now, if it had like perfect borders, that would make it closer to a 70. And this one right here is not uncirculated. It might get an uncirculated grade like a 60, but you can see there's damage to the corners. Almost looks like it's been folded and ironed. With bills, every crease, mark, and imperfection affects the value. And these bills are in great shape, so they're very collectible. What were you looking to get out of these? 12 for the $500 one and 62 for the $1,000 one. This one, I'll give you a thousand bucks. We got a deal? <laughs> Talk about that one first. I really want to pay you like $3,500 for this. I'd like to at least get what I paid for and that was 4800 If I can get 48 and 1000 58 for both. 55 for the pair? 57, and you got a deal. All right, 5,500. 57. <laughs> I'll go 5,500, and I'm pushing it at that. Okay, 55. All right, it's a deal. I settled for 5,500. I wish I could have got a little more far, but I am happy, and I'm going to buy my wife a nice gift with the money. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.